So I'm obsessed with goldfish. In fact, I've written three books about them, Purple Goldfish, Green Goldfish, and Golden Goldfish. And it's this simple idea that little things can truly make the biggest difference. Because the honest fact is that we don't meet the expectations of a customer. We either exceed them or we fall short. And today's customers, their expectations are changing. Now, why? This is a study by IBM. I call it the Amazon effect. 76% of customers expect organizations to understand their individual needs. Trendwatching.com just, just this year said it's one of the five trends of customer experience and customer service. Is this thing called InfoSense. Now what's InfoSense? InfoSense is the ability to understand the individual needs of your customer. So it's using, using data and using analytics and trying to personalize that experience for your customer. My next project is what I call the blue goldfish. And the blue goldfish is simply this. How do you leverage data and insights to be able to deliver a better experience for your customers? It's inspired by Bluetooth and the idea of leveraging. So I've recently written two stories about brands that I think are epitomizing this idea of the blue goldfish, Tory Burch and a bank called Westpac. First, Tory Burch. Let me tell you about Doug Logue. Two years ago, Doug Logue is in Toronto for a bachelor party, and he realizes, holy crap, my pregnant wife is at home, and her birthday is in two days. Hasn't gotten her anything. He scrambles online. He remembers she wants a pair of shoes from Tory Burch. He orders the shoes, but to his horror, understands that they're not going to be shipped till after her birthday. So he hustles back to Florida. He goes in store, and he orders a pair of shoes at the Tory Burch and meets Michelle, the associate. And he's having problems with his credit card because he was just in Canada, and for some reason they're not taking his debit card. She says, calm down. I'm going to get you the shoes. You can come back when you get the ones in the mail. And by the way, here's a Corona. We've got you covered. So two weeks later, he comes back with his wife. He returns the shoes that were mailed to him. And in fact, he gets another Corona. And now his wife's happy because he's hanging out with an iPad and Corona, and she's shopping the store. And just like a week or two later, he gets an email from Michelle. And she says, hey, the shoes that your wife were looking at we're now on sale. And what the amazing thing is that Michelle was using a product called Client Book from Tory Burch. And Client Book allows you to take your online history and your in store experience and meld them together. Now, what's amazing is a customer that uses Client Book, their average order value is 62% higher than a normal customer. Think about that as a brand. Now let me tell you about an Australia and New Zealand bank called Westpac. They're the fourth largest bank in, uh, in Australia and New Zealand. And each month alone, they have 100 million transactions with their customers. Think about big data. They've got all of this data from their customers. Now what they do is pretty interesting. What they've done is they've looked at all of the customers that they've had and they've plotted their customer journey. And they know based upon different life stages for their customers exactly what their next need is going to be before those customers even know it themselves. And what they've done with this, they've created a program called, simply called Know Me. And with the Know Me program, what they figured out is let's take this customer journey all of this data that we have and be able to put together what they call a next best offer. So for about 60% of their customers, they have the next product that that customer wants to have. Now the next time that customer is in front of a bank teller or on phone with customer service, they're presented with that offer. Now, typical marketing, if you get 1% to 3% response rate on an offer, that's amazing. These guys are closing 
40% of offers. 20 million to the bottom line in the first year. Jack Welch perhaps put it the best. There's only two keys to competitive advantage. One is learning about your customers faster than your competition, and two, putting that information to use and putting it into action. How do you take big data, and how do you drive it into useful data? Thank you. Thank you.